So we got a beaver lodge here. Um, right there is a bank den. Right here, you can see that one plain as day. There's a bank den right there running out. Then come up here cutting trees, and I mean they're getting hard up. That's a that's a red oak there that they're trying to chew down. Birch trees trying to chew down. Um, all this stuff here is from last fall. This brand new stuff here is from this spring. Or late winter, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it is March, so it really isn't spring to me. And then down here, we got this big beaver lodge. All open in front of it over there. All open down there. There's actually two bank dens down there. There's another oak tree that they're trying to chew off. I'll get down here so you can get a view of the beaver lodge itself. <clears throat> But you can see the beaver lodge runs all the way up there and all the way down here. And I know that there's two runs on the beaver lodge also. So, so it looks like I'll be setting about six traps here today. But they haven't been trapped at all. I actually just talked to the landowner. I, I saw this beaver here, or this house here earlier this winter. There was a big feed pile peppered all the way through here. And he said no one's trapped it. And you can see that, of course, by all the peeled sticks floating around here. And what that is, is that's their... That's from their feed pile that they had all winter long. They just go in, pick those sticks up, chew a piece off, bring it back in their lodge, eat the bark off of it, and then they come back out and drop that stick out here in the water. So anyway, some free, very fresh beaver sign from them climbing this bank up here. Uh, but like I said, I'm, I'm just going to set the runs because I'm trying to catch a lot of beaver out of here. And it looks like there's quite a few in here. They can, I mean, they... They cut trees down here. If you, you can see way back into here. I mean, right there, right here, over here, way on the other side of the island over there where you can't see, they've just taken tons of trees down. So we're gonna hammer some of these beaver out for this guy, hopefully. All right, so we got a we got a really a really shallow bank den here. Um, goes up under the shoreline here, and since it is being since it being so shallow, I am going to only use a couple sticks on this one. Let's see if I can get my safeties off here. Mm -hmm. So I got my 330. No, I'm not wearing gloves because it's like 60 degrees out today. And I'm going to set this. Right about that. I want this trigger to be centered in the conibear, by the way. Here we go. Got this centered. Wire up both my safeties. You uh, catch a beaver with a safety on, chances are he won't be there tomorrow and you'll be in a, have an educated beaver. Um, you could catch them before, you know, I have in the past. But the, this run is right here. I can feel it. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this trap dead center right in this run. Just like that. And then I have two sticks here. Gonna one run, run one through a spring on this side. There we go. Run the other one through this spring on this side. Just like that. Um, and then I'm gonna take this log here, this little log, and I'm just gonna throw it over this trap. Put a little grass on the sides of it, you know, disguise it a little bit. Um, the, then the beaver will think it's, you know, they'll think nothing of it. like so okay now my trap is set there's really nothing around here to wire this to I got my t-bar stake here there we go I can get it without hitting a log or a rock there we go I'm just gonna 
Put my wire on this T-bar stake right here. This is brand new wire. I always change my wire up a few times a year. Push it down below the water's edge. Here we go. This beaver gets caught in here. It'll be laying here in the morning, hopefully. Um, that's a pretty fast, simple set. You can see, I don't know how long it took me to make that set, but I set the trap, the springs, everything on it. I'm good to go for tomorrow. Right there, you can see it goes all the way up the bank there. And then here, there's a bank den. Blocking off stick here, blocking off stick here. I'm gonna wire my snare to the log over there. But I just want to give you a, a, a view of what, see that snare there? Okay, I loaded my snare. Try and get it over in the light here for you, maybe. There you go. And you can see how I, how I wrap the wire? That's trapping wire, I wrap it around that. I know they put a plastic furl on a lot of them for you to use it as a, you know, a, a guide. You put that over your wire. But this here, you know, you wrap the wire on like that. If the beaver goes through that snare, it's going to hold it right there. And that beaver's going to tighten that snare down. Uh, if you got it just on a plastic furl or something, it's going to slip off that wire, you know. And if you don't have it wired right there, you know, the beaver might feel that and roll around and it might come off or, or whatnot. But you can see I got the wire here. I literally just wire my snare right to the stick and wrap that guide wire around it. And then here I got about a nine inch loop. I'm gonna put that right in the run over here. All right, here's my snare. Looks just like that. And I'm gonna place it right here in this run. Jack, I can, I can feel the loop on it. I'm just going to go right about there. Attach my snare to this log over here. A lot of your people are thinking this beer is going to be gone tomorrow because I wired it to a log. Um, you know, you wire it to a really big log and you check it early in the morning. You know, you won't have a problem. And this, this is this is going to be oak tree. You know, so they're not. I mean, they're they're going to have a heck of a time chewing through an old oak tree that's solid as a rock in the water here. So there's my snare set up. Got a few more traps to check, and then uh, we'll check tomorrow and we'll hopefully have some beer for you. beaver house yesterday I set nine traps um, six counter bears and three snares and we connected on some beaver today uh, connect on some of the some of the sets you actually saw me make so we'll go down and check this one out down here you see it looks like a pretty good sized beaver probably a two-year-old anyway but you see we have this, this bank in here Took me just a couple minutes to make this set. Got my two sticks I put through the springs. Um, my T-bar stake here, staking the trap down. And this here looks this looks like about this might be a two-year-old. It's probably a large, but uh, that's a good-sized beaver for here anyway. You know I haven't trapped in two months, so but I got him right behind the front shoulders there in that 330. So we got a few more traps, we'll run down and uh, check them, see if we can get some more beaver. Okay, so you guys see me make this snare set yesterday. Here's my blocking off sticks snare. I wired it to this big log here. And like I said, I, I, I said if I, if I got a beaver in it, it probably wouldn't get away. And it didn't. I can get this. Well, I'll, I'll untangle that later. But you can see I got this one here. You know, this is just a little guy. Uh, we ended up dispatching him with the 22, but I got him, got him right behind the front shoulders here. So that's two out of the nine traps so far. Um, we had a we had a couple uh, empty traps up here, but uh, we got a few more traps to check here, and uh, maybe we'll get some bigger beaver. All right. So you didn't you didn't see see me make these sets here, but you're standing right in that lodge over there, and from here. I can see, here's my stake, 
and my wire. And there's, see, there's a big beaver finally. Got him right by the head. That's gonna be a two year old anyway. Got him coming into the lodge. So I got, I did have a snare down there that was just, it was pulled down. Beaver got past it somehow, you know. And this could definitely be one of the beaver that, uh, that got past it there. So that's number three over here. Um, I'm gonna even sneak over this other trap over here and I think we got another one over here. This one here looks big. Whoa! What you don't wanna do is go in over the top of your waders. That's my that's my steak right there actually. My swivel stick. This run was a very deep run actually. And this is a this is this is a big beaver here. That's definitely a blanket. Oh. Oh. Big tail on this thing. It looks like probably the male. But that's uh number four. Number four out of this house here. And that's just today. Um, we got some more traps down here. We're gonna keep on checking. Okay, so next set here, got this log, got a bank den that goes up underneath the shoreline here. See I got my blocking off sticks, swivel stick, my stake, and Another beaver. This one's caught back a little ways, but it's a small beaver and that happens sometimes. But uh, man, talk, talk about a, you know, a good catch ratio so far. Um, we've checked eight traps and we have five beaver. So we got one more trap left to check down the shoreline here a little ways. And hopefully we'll get one in that last trap. All right, so this is our last set. Um, another bank den. They come up under the tree here, up under this brush here. And this is a good thing about spring trapping. Winter, winter trapping, this all been full of snow and everything. But uh, right up here by the bank, I was fortunate enough where I could sneak this 330 in. And if you, if you look closely, you can see some fur here. There's my, there's my stake right there. Traps wound up a little bit. Get this out of here for you. There we go. Hey, that's a, that's a good set of beaver. That's probably a two-year-old. So there you have it. Uh, this place here, nine sets, six beaver. Uh, you really, I mean, you can't do any better than that. You could, but I mean, honestly, all you trappers out there know that if you can go out and set nine traps and catch six beaver, you're doing pretty good. But uh, that concludes day one in this on this uh, beaver lodge here. And uh, yeah, so, hey, we'll see you tomorrow. All right. I'm going to make this one a quick, remotely quick anyway. There's that. There's my beaver. You can see it's just a little tiny guy here. These Belial, these Belials are a few years old now, and I'll tell you what, they have not lost one single ounce of power in these springs. There we go. Over there. Oh, let's see here. I lost my uh, swivel stick though. I don't see my swivel stick anywhere. So, let's 
through here. Yeah, it's gone. Run this through here quick. Get this back in place where I had it roughly. And find me a quick little stick. Oh. That's what I like about these big beaver lodges that have been here for, you know, I'm guessing 20 years. This little stick right here. I put it down, check my trap placement. My trap placement is actually off to the side here. So I'll lift up on my wire, that'll lift my trap off the bottom. And I can actually swing my trap right into the run where I want it to. Okay. Get this right between the jaws there. There we go. Shove that at the bottom. Ooh. There we go. There we go. Yep. Trap is set. Ready to go for another beaver tonight. So I think there's, you know, judging by what happened yesterday with those six and this little guy today, pulled down snare over there, pulled down snare over there. You know, I'm guessing there's one big beaver left in here. There might be a couple little ones, but who knows. All right, well, if I don't catch any more beaver tomorrow, thanks for watching my video.